they're like they're like a bunch of movie stars in one house. I think I should do a reality show about what happens in my house. <laughs> Yeah, I'm humorous. When you're close to me, you laugh a lot. It's one of the things that I think is only those who are very close to me that knows how I can be goofy just to make people laugh every time. I'm a free spirit. That's one of the things. Personal life and career. Um, I think the career would be what people see on the outside. And that is what I choose to show them. And internally, uh, things that, you know, govern my own life as a person in private. Because everybody has a private and a public life, definitely. Balancing them has been good so far. That's how come, you know, we see what we see. There's no skeletons in the cup, cupboard. It's every day. This one's, this morning before I left, they'd be doing too much, you know? They're like, they're like a bunch of movie stars in one house. I think I should do a reality show about what happens in my house. <laughs> Yesterday, when they came back from school, CJ wanted to drink water, so she went into the, I have like a man cave, a wood house. But when she picked it, it was already opened. So her mom said, no, she shouldn't drink water that's already open because you don't know who, who, what's in there. So she kept on asking, so who opened it? Who did it? My wife said, oh, it could be Promise, one of uh, what, the, the housekeeper. Just to deter her from drinking it, my wife said, Promise has spat on the bottle and even some must have gone inside. This morning before I left, Promise was in the compound and this girl was about to go to school. She said, you, Promise, you are very naughty. This morning, from last night, why did you put saliva in, 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 in the water? You open, you drink. Next time, I will lash you. You understand? So she's actually accusing the guy right there and then promise was like, <coughs> you see what I'm saying? So these kids, my house is a movie. I said, I'm going to put it on. I think I stopped using pen and paper years ago. The idea is always formed through inspiration. And then I get on the microphone and I start delivering. So that's where I do the writing and, 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 and you know, type and delete, type and delete. We've graduated from that somehow. Right. <laughs> wow. I really don't have a favorite favorite right now because all the songs hit me differently at certain points in time. But on my Fifth Dimension album, I'm struggling to actually pick another. Manoji is different and it's super, you know, with the horns and with Anjali coming in with some spiritual stuff. It's talking about progressing. It's, it's, it speaks about continuing to, you know, to, to, to push, you know? So I think it, it passes to be one of the favorite songs. And In Control as well, it's one of my favorite. When I'm singing that song back, it gives it like, it's, it's heavy. That song is like a full male, you know, when you, you, you pay attention to it, especially when I sing it back. So I have a lot of favorite songs. Yeah, you know, I go by the name Stone Boy, aka the Beam Nation President, aka the Fifth Dimension, and I hope I've answered your questions. Stick in and stay true. Make sure you follow up on the socials. Beep.